So what you're seeing here now is uh, a lot of time I've taken putting on the masking tapes here on the top of the captain's uh, quarters as well as here inside by the windows so that way when I spray paint it doesn't you know I'm not painting the green I'm painting just everything on the outside put stuff here but this needs to be fixed up a bit this one's a little off and I was working on this one in the back but it's kinda hard to do it because you know clearly with the guns in the way it makes it hard to put it in properly I may have to redo it again I'm not too fond of uh, how that come out but anyway um, some of the main cannons like this one I didn't put the clear part here because why bother if I'm going to be spray painting it um, might as well do it later on so that I got these things off to the side um, this part I'm going to have to remove and this is uh, this is unfor unfortunately I may have to let me see here now I gotta look at this properly here Okay, I think I know what I can do, because the problem was, is I don't want to spray paint, accidentally spray paint this, but if I take Tamiya tape and cover it up in a way where it's easy for me to do, let's try this now, I can get away with it. Just carefully do this. I might as well take this out and then Put another one here. Like so. Let's see how it looks. Actually, you know what? I'm going to do this. Yeah, I see. I see that uh, it's covering up all the clear. I don't see anything wrong here. But remember, the purpose of this is so I can spray paint the whole thing properly and evenly. It's not going all the way in, which is now probably an issue. May have to may have to redo it again, or maybe just find another way of doing this. Crap, it's not going in all the way. All right, I'll figure this out either way. So, yeah, this is the stuff that I need to work with now so I can begin printing. Oh, that's one last thing I need to talk about. I had to remove these from the uh, ship because when I was trying to put the tape, uh, the um, masking type on, I didn't I understand I didn't glue these. It pushed inwards. So I said, you know what? I can pop pop the top of the, uh, of the ship and then I can put it back in later on after I'm done painting. So that will probably be my best bet. So anyway, let's begin painting. All right, so as you can see, I got my, my spray booth up and running. I got my kit ready. I got a painting mat that I had a while. I was been looking for this painting mat for a long time, but I keep, couldn't seem to find it. But uh, I finally got a chance to locate it. And I said, all right, it's time for me to get started with this kit. Now, I was going to use um, regular, like, Mr. Surfacer's 1000, but I think probably, I, I, to be honest, I only have very little in here. So, I'm going to give it the good old Mr. White Base, uh, Base White, excuse me, <laughs> Base White uh, Priming for this. So, I'll prime the whole thing white. So, like I always do, this is what the kit looks like before priming and here it is now all fully primed ish
to say the least. So, um, used up all of the white, uh, the base white color. I think I have a, a few drops here and there, which I will, of course, thin out and use it if I have to for some other kits, or maybe I'll redo it again. I'm waiting for this to finish drying. It's halfway done, in a way, drying, so... Uh, I didn't want to do this, but I had to. I had to remove the gun turrets from from the base, which of course I tried to make sure I didn't paint the sides because I didn't want it to uh, tighten up too much. Uh, if I have to, I'll use a, a small cotton swab uh, dipped in thinner and clean up the inside so that way I can at least move it about here and there. Um, there's one thing that I tried to avoid doing was painting the the cannon because I forgot to put something in there. But I'll put you know I'm gonna put a little put um, the sticky tacks to cover the uh, LED. I'm sorry the uh, the glass um, the clear part that's representing the uh, the um, the wave motion gun so that way I don't paint over it. Um, I removed this from the base while I was painting as to make sure everything was covered. Make sure that the cannons were painted individually. Uh, I see that the this one held up okay, so I don't see any issues. The one thing, of course, is that I'm going to be doing right now is I'm going to now begin the uh, pre-shading. Now, for those of you who don't remember, I used this to detail up my um, excuse me my um, uh, what was it, the Deslock Command Carrier and the Assault Carrier uh, kit that I made a few months ago. And it was, you know, it's a cheap alternative, of course, but what I really want to do is I want to do a pre-shading um, airbrush where I will airbrush the lines of this. Now, I got to figure out how I can get the most out of my airbrush by painting very, very thin lines. I got to clean it up a bit before I do that and I know for a fact that I can adjust the um, the pressure on the airbrush so I can then you know slowly do a line by line by line by line by line and see if I can do that now normally I would use black but black is a little too strong so someone uh, sent me a message said that it's probably a good idea to use something a little bit lighter, like a uh, like gray. And uh, as a matter of fact, let me see if I have a gray here. I have a lot of grays in acrylic, but I don't think I have. Let me see here. Now I got the chrome silver. Yeah, I think I may have to. Go, I, may, I think I may have to go to my hobby store and pick up gray. Because I thought I had some. Uh, yeah, shoot. Looks like I don't have it. Yeah, the only gray I have is gunship gray, which of course was uh, the. Air it, it's lacquer based, of course, but not specifically designed for this. Everything I have is all acrylic, and if I'm going to spray paint acrylic, I'm going to have to spray, spray paint acrylic colors over the acrylic paint. Not a good idea to do lacquer colors over acrylic paint because it will eat through the paint pretty well. Alright, so let me uh, see if I have something and then we'll proceed.